All right, folks, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the wide world of sports. That's a nice little old reference for those of you probably, I don't know, definitely over 40. That's an old ABC sports reference. Um, I'm going to show you one easy trick that I use to improve the sales process for my, for my sites and my clients. Um, it, it occurred to me today because I was setting up a piece of content and I used this tactic and I thought, you know, that'd be something really easy to uh, teach people. And it's a, it's a technique you can use really for any piece of marketing that you're going to do, even if it's not online, because this tactic helps you get behind the eyes essentially of your ideal uh, prospect. So if you have somebody out there that you sell to, you want to try to think the way they think, right? So this is how you can do it. So we're gonna go to Google. Hmm, let's go to Google Calendar. We're not gonna go to Google, Cal Google Calendar. Okay, so let's say that we sell, um, air conditioning service. So I'll, I live in Texas. A lot of you folks that read this, you, you're going to be in Texas or the South where it gets pretty warm, but any part of the country when it's warm, people want AC. So air conditioning. Okay. So as I did this, you see autocomplete. So air conditioning unit, that's not something I would have assumed that someone would search. I'm thinking repair or even filters. Those are common things, but unit, that's kind of a static search. So I'm going to go search this. Now, you can kind of get into here and see these title tags here are what people are, uh, are, are what your competitors are searching on or are, are, are optimizing for. They're going after these keywords okay so that's the first thing you can do is you can see what your competitors are doing now this is something that google does now they populate news within the what's called the serp the search engine return page and uh you can see other titles here every single one of these titles have value because it teaches you to think outside of your own box so thinking outside the box right so it's thinking outside of your own thinking and that's a very tough thing to do, except that Google has compiled a gigantic list for you to pull from. So you can go to this, and I'll guarantee you, by flipping through a few of these pages, you can see you have 10 pages, but there are probably many, many more, because as you can see up here, there are 170 million results. Now, just a, another kind of ninja trick it's not that ninja but it's a little bit ninja uh you can bracket this search with quotation marks and when you do that you're telling google i only want this phrase to return now you can see right here we've reduced this already from 170 million to three and a half million roughly that is a gigantic decrease a matter of fact that is about five percent or 2%. Yeah, it's 2%. That's about 2%. So you reduced your total by 98%, which is obviously going to give you a much more refined search target. Now, as you go through this, you can see again what your competitors are doing. You can also see how Google returns things. So how how is Google going to return my content? What do they like to see? See, this first page means Google considers this the most relevant return, okay? Another really useful thing is to go down here to the bottom and look at these related search returns. So you see this central air conditioning unit, window air conditioning unit, portable air conditioning unit, prices, cost, ductless, Walmart, Home Depot. These are all very relevant returns in Google's eyes, okay? So that is a, as you, you, you could take another step and go kind of deeper into this, solar powered, all these other things, 10 things about air conditioning. If you're putting together content, lists are great. Um, again, this just helps you kind of get a picture of what your competitors are doing 
and it, it gives you a little more information to, to uh, kind of in your arsenal to kind of understand how to construct your, your content. Hope that helps. If you have, have any questions, you can contact me on my website.